This first drawing is going to be a starry night sky. To draw a star, you need to know how to draw lines. So let's practice drawing lines. Lines that go from the top to the bottom. Put your hand on the paper and pinch the pencil at the top and use your fingers to draw the line from the top to the bottom. Straight lines. See how my fingers are moving from the top to the bottom. My, my hand is resting on the table and all I'm doing is moving my fingers from the top to the bottom. Now let's draw the line the other way. This is called a horizontal line. This is a vertical line. Let's draw some more horizontal lines. I'm using, my hand is moving from the left to the right, left to the right. Now let's practice drawing lines sideways, diagonally. These are diagonal lines and I'm going from the right to the left. Now let's do them the opposite, from the left to the right, left to the right. These are diagonal lines. Okay, now let's practice drawing a star with these types of lines. First, we'll do a down line, and then a, an across line, and look, it looks like the letter T. Now we're going to do two smaller lines like an X. And there's our star. Now let's make our night sky. So we're going to draw five stars in our night sky. Do the, like the letter T and then an X. Space out your stars. Do not draw them very close together. It just looks better when they're spaced out. Okay? So I found a yellow crayon and I am tracing the lines. This is going to make the stars look like they're twinkling. Twinkling stars. And it's going to make the stars look like they're shining. Okay, so I'm tracing my pencil lines with the crayon. I found a black crayon and I took the paper off. And we're going to shade the night sky. Take your crayon, lay it flat going to color with the flat side. Pinch it like this and just gently move it back and forth. And the key word is gentle. Very lightly. Oops. Careful to not let your crayon roll off the table. Very gently we are shading the night sky with a black crayon. Okay, now I like to mix colors. I'm making it a little darker, but it's a gentle dark. It's not a harsh dark. By just going over it more than once, it darkens it, but it's still light. Now I'm gonna take a blue crayon, and I did the same thing. I took the paper off the crayon, and I'm going to mix the colors. Lay the crayon flat, pinch it on the side, and start shading. And it's it's not a real obvious difference, but adding the blue, mixing the blue, just gives the picture a beautiful look. It's so much prettier. And you know, we can even take another blue. I'm gonna break this crayon in half, peel the paper off, 
need this crayon to be sharpened because I'm not writing. I'm just shading. I'm mixing the colors. And to mix the colors, it works better to take the paper off. Just make sure you throw the paper away in your garbage. Now I'm gonna add this lighter blue and you're gonna see how pretty it is. See those little blue streaks? It just looks so pretty. And the other thing I'm doing is I'm coloring the whole paper. Don't leave anything uncolored, okay? When you make a drawing, put color on the entire, on the whole piece of paper. It just looks better like that. Okay, so here is a beautiful night sky. Good job.